Okay, hey guys, just coming to you with a little survival bird trap. This is going to be a live bird trap, but um, it's also, you can do what I'm doing just to catch in a little annoying pigeon or bird or something. This is what you're going to need. Uh, for the really non-survival, you're going to need one of these just, um, just like wire crates. Um, I'm using spruce for this, but you're going to need a, a stick with a wire. I just broke this off as a stick that I found. You're going to need a longer stick, which is going to prop up the um, the trap, and then a trigger stick, which is just a kind of a long thin twig where you can put the bait on. Okay, so this is how you do it. So, what you're going to want to do is lift up this, your crate, and then find the middle and put this under it, okay? So, what you what you want to do is carve a little, so, okay, this is going to be going in like this. Now, on the back of this, it's flat, and this is where the trigger stick goes against. And on the front, it's where the prop stick goes. So this holds up the prop stick. So all you do is put this in here, put the prop stick in, like so, if I can get it here. Oh, this is also a very sensitive trap, which means it's kind of hard to set. So okay, I'll get this set up and I'll move the camera so you can see. Okay, got it. Okay, um, here it is. So, there, there's the Y stick, which is being pushed inward by the prop stick. And that stick's holding it up. And I'll get a little back shot on this. like that. That really helps anyway. Okay, so this is what this is what it would look like going off. Okay. So, you're going to go in here. You're going to put all the bait around in here. Make sure you get as deep as possible. Sometimes what I like to do is cover up the sides. Um, so the birds when you know I'm coming on in, I'm going to see the bait, and you're going to want to put a lot right under it, just right under it, um, so you know when they come to grab it, they're going to hit the stick, so boom. And as you can see, everything is still inside the trap. That's because we're using this little Y stick here, and that means everything's going to it wants the weight is pushing everything inwards, but this trigger stick is using uh, friction and things like that to keep the trap still up. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And and uh, to make that real Atapuka, I don't want to be taking anyone's credit. So uh, the video I made a video response to the video actually showing you how to do it. This is just my version using this wire crate, and instead of two trigger sticks, I'm using just one because two trigger sticks is very hard to set. Anyway. So just look down, right down, um, and there's a, this, it says, just click on that little button, and that's it, just right under the video. Thanks for watching.